Hi, hey, how's everyone doing today? It's Dylan here. Uh, obviously, I haven't posted in the last couple of days on my channel, but I'm actually kind of redoing my channel and restructuring what I'm doing. I'm mostly going to be doing design videos now from time to time. Not many video, uh, video game videos, uh, maybe now and then, and we'll see what happens. But uh, this video, I was very inspired by Tyson Beck's uh, baseball series cards he's been doing lately for Tops, And I always wanted to get into... Uh, I guess uh, player card designs. Uh, I'm not much of a collector, but I think some of the designs are really cool that we're seeing out there nowadays, especially with the technology we can do to print. So I decided to take it in my hands and start my own little hockey series of cards. Um, one reason I never really got into card collecting is because I never really thought the hockey card designs were that much interesting and that's no fault to the designers it's just it's just not my style of design i like some of the throwback looking ones but a lot of the modern ones not really not really my style so i, I just wanted to uh kind of go in a little bit and do my own little process in photoshop which is basically i like to call cheating digital painting <laughs> basically what i do in the beginning is i smooth out the picture with a little blur tool and on my tablet i go through uh, the face, the jersey, and I smudge everything to give it a nice smooth uh, smooth texture to it. And then I go over with some of my oil paint brushes with the colors that I color pick. So it gives it the texture of painting. And it, it's a really nice and easy way to, to give something look like you, you painted the whole thing. It gives a really cool, gritty paint, oil paint texture. And uh, it's really simple and easy to do. And uh, I figured I'd showcase it here. Uh, unfortunately, I worked at a very small scale in this video because screen recording and using Photoshop is apparently incredibly difficult for my machine to handle, so I apologize if it's very uh, choppy, and uh, I apologize if you're not seeing a lot of actual detail put into it because um, I, I typically would work at a full scale with doing the painting because it's much easier to use the, the paintbrush tool at a larger scale than it is a smaller scale. So. Um, yeah, I do apologize if uh, it is a bit small, but uh, as you can see here, I mask out the background again with the paintbrush tool to give it again a gritty paint, and now I'm doing the background, and my thought process on the background with this series is uh, incorporating like a logo shape from the team. So uh, let's say for the Oilers, you know, the, the oil drop would be nearing the top and we would have the colors in the background of the oil drop, so that's sort of my idea with this card series if I continue you can follow me on Twitter or on Instagram I'll uh, link those down in the description as well and you can uh, check those out uh, I'll be continuing a series there for other players and other teams um, but I, I had a lot of fun doing this and it's nice to get back into just some design exercises during uh, this quarantine time um, but unfortunately my computer did freeze at one point during this so I actually just had to turn off my screen recording software because it wasn't going to allow me to work any further so um, I'll just show you the finished product after uh, the, the last point before it froze and uh, then we'll take a look at that and here's the final product I, I'm really happy with it I, uh, I kind of went crazy with the background to give it a you know a really uh, grungy gives it a nice little attitude to it because I think hockey is you know Hockey is one of the more aggressive, you know, grittier sports out there. So I kind of wanted this card design to to reflect that a little bit, along with the team that the player is representing. But I hope you enjoyed the little speed run commentary thing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what my plan was for this. I just kind of threw something together. But nonetheless, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the product. Uh, if you want to see more, leave a like, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you at a future date. I'm unsure what that would be. Peace out, guys. Stay safe.